Planet Zoo. So last episode, we ended up adding our gray seals, which now are, you know, the best of the best, the top of the trade at our zoo. I was looking at the kind of stats, and apparently it's the most appealing animal. And I just think their exhibit was so fun. I'm kind of loving the aquatic theme and a little bit of Arctic theme. So, I mean, I should have put them over here, but this is my thought. I am going to make an Arctic section of the zoo. So I'm thinking right here, we're going to get penguins, timber wolves, polar bears, everything that's kind of like Arctic, um, your tundra over here. Um, I have, you should be proud of me, I have found in animal trading some king penguins. So right now they need six. I think I only have a couple. These guys are not great, so I don't really want to add them, but like if we go to animal storage, I have four right now. So I do want two more. I have two males, two females. Um, it'd be nice to get a couple of more of them, but that's okay. Cause they want, they're kind of like the flamingos. They'll, they want a ton in there. Um, so that's super awesome. It says guests can enter the habitat. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. This one, I don't know. I do definitely want to, um, make it like like this, have a little side viewing area, but I'm gonna do a way better job than I did last time. Um, so before we even get the penguins, first of all, let's take a look really quickly. Let's pause it actually. Let's take a look at their Zoopedia. Oh, we're already on it. Um, their natural habitat, they need, okay. Um, they need it to be very cold. I'm looking at that right now. Grade two, about, Five feet. This is what's interesting. Why is this in feet and these are in meters? I don't understand that. Anyways, 200 meters squared land requirement. Um, 144 just swimming and then 86 meters squared of deep water. Um, so I do think, like I said, it'd be kind of cool to get it, you know, just maybe a little, another circle right here. And then if we end up adding like polar bears or something it'd be cool also because you can go and look underneath so let's um first of all let's do a better job with the terrain and in terms of like sculpting so i'm thinking oh nope i want to go down let's undo that i'm thinking right here will be like the edge and this is where we're gonna have our our deep water for our penguins it's gonna be kind of a smaller exhibit to be honest um, but yeah, something like, like this. Sorry, I know we have other animals in animal storage and I was looking at them and not that they're boring, but I'm like, oh, I kind of want to add these guys instead. You know, I want to shake it up a bit. I want to make sure we make it wide enough on all edges. If there's an easier way to do this, somebody please tell me, because I honestly don't know. This is all I got. Has to be four meters or deeper. Which... The thing is, it doesn't matter if, like, the the ground looks nice that that's not the part i'm actually worried about if anything i'm i am worried about just this saying there's not enough room and then of course like it doesn't matter if that's deep or not like if we go like this i think that is going to be deep enough for our little penguins to swim in so make this area let's clear it out a little bit more clear out the wall kind of get this you know we do want it to be flat because I do want them just to have a straight like walking area so let's let's go back over here I kind of wish I had a light to be honest that'd be a little bit nice let's see smooth all right that's yeah, let's let's put it ooh, let's put it as deep. No, we won't push as deep as we want it to be, and then and then thinking, um, let's smooth it out. Here, let me 
make it really intense right here, so it takes me like two seconds to just break this. And then, let's smooth this out. I haven't had to chisel anything yet, so. It's gonna be an interesting kind of process when I have to get to do that. So yeah, smooth that and then I'm gonna do a little bit of pushing over here so that it can then come up again on this side. If you look at the path over at the where the seals are, um, it's pretty messed up. I'm gonna be completely honest. It's not it's not the greatest path I've ever seen, but it's not terrible. All right, let's see. I think that looks pretty. Oh, it's not smooth. I want it to be. I wish there was like a way to like. Make it more level. That doesn't look very level to where it's gonna let me, like. Yeah, maybe I need to come, like, right here a little bit. I just want it to all be the same. The shadow is messing with me. The shadow is making me think that it's not level. Is it level? Let's see. Let's look. That looks pretty level. Let's see what our path thinks, though. Also, I didn't even think if this is where, you know, I should have checked. Um, also, guys, let's use the frosted path. Let's, uh, and then here we go. J, I think is how you go down. I go down any further. Oh, look at that. That's almost smooth. All right, all right. Okay. Where's our little terrain thing? I might have to push out more this way. Okay, let's go back to path. That's good, because that's all flat. Let's look. That th I think will be... Is that even connected? Wait a sec. Is that connected? Wait. I just want to make sure 100% nope, that this is connected. And then let's start lifting them out. Awesome. Now we, all we have to do is just get rid of, uh... Get rid of, like, this part. Oh, wait. Push. Out of the way. See a sucker? Is there any way to... I actually flatten this a ton more and make it so like so it just like right away like let's go downwards I could but I gotta make that okay is there any way to make this length it's length is one so Yeah, darn, there's like no other way to make it so it's like 
a little shorter. I mean, I don't really want it to be like that, but but that's that's probably fine, I think. This looks kind of crazy, does it not? Bam. All right, we'll leave it at that, I think. There can be a lot of these guys too, so I kind of want to make this a little bit bigger. Now you are entering the Arctic Wonderland. Just kidding, that's not what it's going to be called, but that'd be kind of fun. All right. I do know I for sure want this to be the deep area though, so let's just push. Yeah. Our little penguins. No, just kidding. Our little penguins are gonna be swimming right along here. Right for everybody to see. Okay, cool. Alright, let's uh let's let me look at their CPD. I didn't look at that. Grade two, um, about five feet. So, not too tall. Um, again, I think I'm just going to do this thick glass. Um, here. Let me actually flip, because it does it's not letting me at the angle that I'm at right now. Let's see. Well, right there. No, dude, come on. I just worked so hard on this. Oh, here we go. Maybe. About right here. No, it's not letting me do that either. Guess we'll just have to stick with... Right here is not bad. It really isn't. I do want it to be a little bit straighter, though. Oh, it's train is too uneven for placement. Um. Ooh. I do. I'm at like 100% intensity. I don't want to be that intense. There we go. And then maybe we should smooth out the bottom area right here. At least where I want to put the fence. Okay, let's try it again now. I kind of like this little glass though. Um, it's nice already because it's I think it's watertight, which is cool. But it's just also just nice to have it. Okay, I've kind of find, found, like, a little solution. I mean, I'm not loving it, but it's, uh, it's better than nothing. But it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely more, more what I'm looking for, I think. Ooh, that's too long. Let's shorten that a bit. I don't love that the grass will just stick up through the, uh, um, path. I find that kind of odd. Let's make this a little shorter. There we go. I just like to make them as long as possible like this because then you don't have as many like cracks or not cracks but um a lot of poles in the way of people being able to see the animals i think it just makes it look nicer as well look at that <laughs> learning how to use the curve 
curves tools. Might have to put a new staff area over here now that I'm actually kind of thinking about it. Let's uh, let's make this one here. Checking out our sun bear habitat. Those little guys are awesome. That was a super fun habitat to make. I just liked having to the ability to like make the climbing area and then seeing them climb. That was just, I don't know, so cool, me being a nerd. But super awesome, I think. Make this a little shorter. Like maybe four. Bam. And then I think I can just make this as long as I want now. I'm not going to let people enter this exhibit. I've already, I mean, it said that I could. I just didn't really want to. I don't know. I thought, let me delete this and actually just have it connect from here to here. Well, let's just get rid of that one. Um, I kind of just thought it looked better when I, or not look better. Um. I just like the idea of not having them come into this exhibit. That's kind of what I'm thinking, uh, plan for this one specifically. But I do want to raise this though, because I want the water level. Oopsies, let's, yeah, we kind of want to look at this angle. It's kind of an odd angle for me to be at, but it's just an, oh, no, 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 not everybody. Here. Nope, I, I do want this kind of habitat, but I just want, I don't go back to barriers. I want just this single area. Yeah. Something like that. So that the water... It's exactly the same high! It's perfect! Okay. Alright, and then let's take a look really quickly. I'm thinking, um... A little arctic zone. Probably put arctic wolves over here or something. We probably need to, um, actually, look. There's a, there's a staff area right here. Watch this. Wait, staff path. Dang, why is it so short? Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't want it to be wider. I always confuse those two. I don't, I don't mean to. This is what I want. Bam. Okay, and then maybe we'll t put the keeper gate. Let's uh, think it. Let's get out of this area. Barriers habitat. Barriers is actually what we want. Put it right here. Bam. I'm thinking like that. That looks pretty. It's a pretty decent size. It's not huge, but. Looks kind of funky over here because there's got a really high area, but hey, if you want to see the little penguins swim, that's what it's got to be like. All right, let's take a look. We have a ton, a ton, ton, ton of room. Um, I'm going to do something kind of different that I've never done before. I'm going to do the terrain, at least the sculpting, before... Um, we put the little guys in here. And then they they do want another just swimmable area. Not too deep, but like just a little swimmable. Which I'll do right here. And then Yeah, that's a little that's just that's just swimmable. It's not really deep, I'm thinking. That's really where they're gonna do their big swimming and stuff. But right here, you know what? They're just gonna be chilling, just floating like a little lazy river for our little penguins. Yeah, I like that. Okay, yeah, I've never really done anything like this before, so let's uh. Ooh, I like that. Let's... Yeah, that, that it's not as deep over here, but that's definitely what we want. And then deep over there. Okay, let's see. Let's look really quick. We got water area, a ton. Average water depth is about 5.79 meters. 
so this looks pretty deep over here. Let's get these little guys in here. Oh, real quick. Animal trading. Um, they want six, so. Ooh, this guy's a bronze. Let's get him. She's not great. He's okay. We'll do him. We want, obviously, like, these guys are probably going to breed pretty quickly as well, so. We'll just start with the, the minimum amount, and then let's get these guys into our zoo. I think we have three females, three males. Yeah, just the perfect ratio. Oh, I'll be honest. I hope I, I hope I didn't schedule anybody else to go into there. Cause I'm gonna be sad if I lose one of my penguins. All right, let's see them come in. Oh, here they are! Whoa, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. Our little king penguins. Let's unpause it really quick. Welcome. I know your welfare is awful, but, um, okay, everything looks good in terms of, like, swimming area, everything like that, so that's perfect. All we need to take care of right now is just, um, terrain, okay. And we'll need more sand. Um, so let's, so too much long grass, so let's put a lot of sand out there then. Um, let's do fine sand. Let's get, let's kick the intensity up as well. Yeah, put it right here. We wanna get rid of all this long grass. They don't like it. They want like the bare minimum when it comes to long grass. They don't want they really don't want it in their habitat. Oh sweet. Okay, now they need a little bit of soil. Um maybe we'll put it in this corner, soil. Cool. Maybe a little right there. Some long grass. Okay, that looks awesome. It'd be kind of fun. Um, I think... Let's actually put in a cooler really quick before I do this. Habitat. Heaters and coolers. We're going to probably need a lot of these guys because this is kind of a big habitat. Right here. Right here. Probably right there and then... Right there. We will put these to be, okay. Let's look at their Zoopedia really quick before we, yeah, let's put it at like negative 10. We'll do negative six. Yeah, I think that's good. Negative six on all of them. Yeah, it's looking pretty hot right here. Told you this is our Arctic zone. We're not messing around. Awesome. There we go. I think that looks good. Um, let's check really quick. I think we have a power thing over here, don't we? Not? Don't we? Generator, is this... Let me look at the range. Really, the best way I know is by moving it. Put it right there. Wait. Is it still connected? Okay. Yes, it is. Alright. Sweet. Alright, and then I want to add, like I said, I want to add some snow. So let's go back to terrain. I think it'd be cool to get just get a little bit of snow right here hopefully that's not gonna mess up anything too bad let's take a look let's see little guys what do you think you got this huge area to yourselves that didn't mess up anything it's not fast forward too much but it looks like we're perfect in terms of deep water all right, they do need um, somewhere to live. So I'm thinking we could do in this right here in the middle a little cave. Let's do um, so first of all, they don't want any coverage. Aquatic and tundra. So let's do these tundra ice rocks, and let's just make them a big flipping cave, cave in the middle. Unless I haven't seen some of the habitat beds and shelters, um, it's been pretty cool be honest so ooh, like i'm tempted like look at this like that's kind of awesome i'm never gonna be able to build anything like that should i just so 
Stamp that right in the middle. I mean, that thing's kind of dope. Is it not? I mean, I'm not going to be able to build anything better than that. And that, that looks so cool. Look, I mean, look at this. Not, not that I'm doubting myself, but I am a little bit. But I don't have, like, impeccable, like, building skills. You know? I guess all my... Wait... Wait, shelter space is not enough. What? Okay, I guess it's too small. What? Oh, something's happening. Not an ideal temperature. I know, I... Wait, I put, like, a cooler over here, though. Let me look at our coolers again. Where are they? Ooh. Yeah, right here might not be covered, actually, to be honest. You know what I realized is that the range probably needs to be adjusted. Dang it, where are the other ones now? Flip, I shouldn't have sunk the other ones now. Dang it, how do I... Something's going on here. We'll do that, I know. We'll, we'll get people assigned over here. Just give me a sec. We'll, we'll get there. Flipper, flip, flippity doo -dos. Um, I sunk some of these bad boys in the ground. And I don't know where they are located. I'm, I'm, I'm just searching in here to see if there's something, some way I can, I can find it. Find our other coolers and heaters in here. Because I probably need to adjust the range. Let me watch this drop, though. Darn, where is the other one? Multiple animals are not in their ideal temperature. Many guesting tickets are underpriced. Let's go. Somebody matured. Let's see. We'll do... Let's do... $25 and then... Put that at 14 That's not quite. Look at our zoo reputation. We're almost at four stars. Guest happiness is very good. Good. So, that makes me awesome. Well, sorry, that sounded cocky. Uh, that makes me happy. Yeah, darn. I, I mean, I, I kind of lost our other heater and cooler, so I'm probably just gonna end up putting... Just like, bam, bam. Maybe right here as well. Because I just don't know, I don't remember where I placed them. And I just don't want the little animals to not... To not have what they need. So we want the temperature range to be about... I think we're putting it at negative 6. And we only want it to... Vary by 10. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. Currently this is saying right there it's 42 degrees. Probably need to duplicate this. Put, put it right here as well. Fetch, I, how do I get this to go away? Sounded like we had protesters for like two seconds, do we? We might. Let's not unpause it yet. Let's make sure we got this. Negative six. And then, yeah, ten degrees. It is decreasing. It's taking longer than I'd love for it to take. To get to where our animals like. Awesome. We're about at negative five right now. Ooh, animal welfare has attracted protesters. Fricks. Yeah, I figured... But, sorry, we're trying to get them to, um, I'm trying to get them to good welfare. I promise I'm not abandoning these little guys. I'm really trying to, trying to do that. Um, let me get them some snow. Some more snow over here. Hopefully that's not messing too much with their terrain. No, that's awesome. Alright, habitat, uh, again. Um, let's do filter. 
species. King penguin. Where's the K's? H I J. Oh, there we go. That's ginormous. This is like here's the thing. I put this down like two seconds ago, and then I looked at hard shelter, and it was like, oh, that's not good enough. Let's look. Okay, that's saying it's a hundred, so I'm, I'm gonna be kind of like mad if two seconds later it's like, nope. That's not. Is it floating though? I don't really want it to float unless it's. Oh, looks like it's supposed to be like that. All right, hard shelter. Sorry, Ethan. Okay, enrichment species. F oh. We gotta get our, gotta get our vet researching our little penguins. I've just been having our vets actually research a lot of just like, ooh, they're not even researching the gray seals. Um, a lot of these just like random diseases and stuff because um, you never know when like an animal is gonna get sick. Oh, an ostrich is gonna mature. I gotta watch that. When that ostrich matures, I gotta get rid of it. Get away, protesters! Like, no! I'm trying! Animal... Okay. I feel like their welfare is, is better. They do need enrichment. Is anyone down here? Speaking of that. Doesn't look like anyone's come down here to watch him. Okay, let's get, um... Let's get some food in here. Ooh, a frozen block of fish. It's kind of fun. And then let's do these, yeah, these box feeders. Honestly, once those ostriches mature, they gone. Here, I'm gonna actually fast forward to the morning before I do this because then I can see a little bit better. Penguin's not an ideal temperature. Do I need to do... I didn't take a look at this, actually, though. Um, facilities. A water temperature regulator. Where's that? I'm wondering if we're gonna need... Is this gonna f cover these guys? Alright, I might have to... Put another staff area over here eventually so i'm just gonna kind of put this far enough off but at least it can help me i want the range to be about 10. It's not powered. No! As we grow, it's kind of getting more complicated to have, like, powers and stuff like that. Power facilities, you know. Maybe we'll do a wind generator over here so that people don't get mad at me. Wind turbine. So it can be, like, close to them and they won't be, like, peeved. Alright, so that should be good to keep our penguins water cold. Alright, let's keep fast forward into the morning and then we'll, we'll add some other stuff to their exhibit. My penguins are already gonna mate? Yes! Let's get some baby penguins in here. Let's do it. That makes me super happy. It means they're liking their habitat if they're gonna mate. Okay. Looks like we're in good enough daylight. Let's take a look. Let's grab a little penguin. See, um, species toy enrichment. Yeah, we're doing some research to get that done. Okay, over here. Whoa, what am I? What am I viewing currently? Here we go. I want to jump in the water though. There we go. Um, I want to put over here um, some feeders, underwater feeders, because then the the penguins will come swim over here. And the people will just be like it, because then they can just, like, chill and see some little penguins eating in here. Let me put another one. Put another one, like, right there. Let's see. Call keeper to the habitat. 
yeah, that'll be cool. Kind of have it right there. Um, all right, let's see. Let's look really quickly. Let's do habitat. All right, toys. Ooh, a little mirror. Mobile. Mobile. I, I, again, that word I struggle with. It'd be kind of fun having that there. Ooh, a bubble machine? Okay, that's, uh, obstructed. Well, I guess it needs a bunch of room if it's gonna blow bubbles. Put it... Let's actually... There's really nothing on this backside. Let's put it there. And then a water jet enrichment. It's kind of cool. That'd be kind of fun putting, like, a bunch of these guys. And then a little rubber ducky. Ooh, it's blue! Shaking things up a bit. We're gonna have a blue rubber ducky. Honestly, I know they really like, um, sand. Here's my thing, though. Um, I feel like, oh, is the hard shelter not enough? Darn. Okay, we might have to build them a hard shelter, because it, it keeps glitching out and saying this is not enough, so. I'm just gonna build them one. Anyways. Wait. I don't want to mess with their terrain, because... Let's take a look. No, they're good. I think it just looks cool to have snow all up here. Now, obviously, it's gonna melt in areas where it's not um, cold enough. Okay, that's that's looking cool. All right, let's spice up this habitat. First of all. They don't want, like, any coverage, which kind of sucks. But, um, let's just build, like, an ice cave. Um, I'm thinking maybe you're in the middle facing the people. So, like, this way? Maybe? Okay. Let's look at nature. And, yeah. Hmm. The hard part is finding, like, which rock is the one that I want. Also, eventually there's going to be a lot of these little guys in here. So, that's that rock I don't love. Yes, this one. This one's my trusty one. I feel like I use it in almost every habitat. Let's actually put a couple of the, the big ones here in the back. Just to kind of make a little bit of a foundation. Here we go. Something like this. I don't know if I can, uh, let me check really quick in here. Can I paint up here? I guess not. That's as high as I can go. But I think, maybe a little bit over here on the side. I think that looks good. I like that. Let's see what our little penguin friends think. It's probably too hot right there, and that's why the snow is kind of melting. Um, let's take a look at them. Whoa. Right, let's go to terrain and bam we're 100 on on hard shelter they do need more sand though and more soil so um let's do that soil maybe a little right here and a little more sand as well Perfect. Okay, that looks look good. They didn't really want any coverage. Enrichment. I think we're good. Let's let's take a look really quick right here. Habitat. Temperature. Animal is too hot. Which is crazy because I feel like I've put so many heaters in here. Maybe let me look. Do I need to look at their Zoopedia again? 
Oh, wait, negative 20 to negative 17? Let's actually, okay, oopsies. Let's put him at negative 15. Now, I feel bad, I didn't know. Let's see, where are our other, there's one right here. Oh, one thing I also forgot to do for this one is make sure I set Perfect. Keepers coming by every month. But yeah, let's make sure these guys are in the right temperature. It just keeps telling us, saying that the ambient ten temperature is, is 30 degrees Celsius, which is, is crazy. Um, it's crazy hot for them. I'm trying to think how we could do this. Yeah, I'm like wondering. I'm trying to look up and see if there's any like tips of like how to get these guys... Oh, it says temperature is 100%. Oh, pfft. I'm over here freaking out, thinking that we're not good. Oh, who just had offspring? Her. Or who was inbreeding? Someone was inbreeding before. Can't remember. It was one of the kangaroos. Let's see, it was... I just want to look at notifications. Wait, I want... I want to be notified about everything. Darn it! I'll have to look again at the kangaroos to see who's... Who's inbreeding! They are hungry, though. I did... Oh, you know what? Forgot something. I need to set up work zone. Okay. I think it's work zone one that I want to edit. Yeah. There we go, because the keeper's probably trying to reach this habitat and is like, how come I can't get there? And I'm like, dude, get over here. Help my little penguins. Give them something to eat. Here we go. Now the keeper's gonna come in here and, f and feed them. And they, they should be good. Other than that, I mean, they're looking pretty good. We did have a baby. Um already, which is kind of crazy to me. I'll check to see where the baby is. We have two babies? Holy crap, like, where are the babies? I don't know where they are. Let's, let's just look around, actually. Are they... Are they swimming or anything? No, that's like a sprinkler thing right there. It's like a jet. Look at this little guy. Let's... Oh, but I don't want the water. Look at him. Having the time of his life. Oh! He's diving. That's cool. That's super awesome. Well, the inspector left a report. Ooh, please don't be mad. Looks pretty good. Not bad. We do need to set up, step up our education. I'm kind of wondering, like, ooh, it's raining. Um, if we should like hire educators. That's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. But everybody looks, everybody seems okay in here. I keep, I called the keeper over here, but maybe we need to go to. Let's do it really quickly. Um, let's just do food. Just not even food enrichment, just let's also put bedding. Are we filtering by the oh they like these little platform beds? Little put those little guys in there. That'll be cool. Um the, oh that's kinda cool. I didn't even look at that. That'd be fun to add to another habitat. Um, but yeah, let's get him some food. We'll put a food tray right there. And maybe one over here in this corner. So they go over there so you can see him. Alright, hopefully the keeper will come in here and flip in. Oh, keeper's in route. Get them some food because they're all hungry. 
All we're waiting for our keeper. Let's go to facilities. We gotta obviously set up our tip jars. We don't want to be missing out on, um, on that. We obviously want to get as much as we can. Okay. So guest facilities, little tips, tip jars. Guarantee there's gonna be complaints like people saying like, oh, it's raining. It's not fair, and I'm like, yo, I can't control the weather. Trust me. If I could, ooh, that'd be like the first thing I did every day. I'd make it. I control the weather. Oh, one of my ostriches is about to mature, so you know what that means. Bye bye, ostrich. You gone. All right, and then of course we need garbage disposal because, you know, my guest attendance cannot be trusted without flipping littering everywhere. I'm telling you, the flamingo exhibit, we probably need to check on it now that I'm just thinking about it. But, like, they flip and litter. Oh, it's cool. The feeder's going right now. Um, they litter in that thing all the time. And it makes me so mad because I'm like, dude, stop. It's one thing to litter, but then if, especially if it's like there's a place provided for you to throw away your garbage and you still litter. Like, what the heck? Let's take a pause real quick. We're getting so many notifications over here. Let's take a look. We can probably release some of these guys to the wild. Again, you can't do anything with these guys, so, um, release some of these babies to the wild to kind of shake it up a little bit. Um, let's look at our calendar. Who matured? Great flamingo, dingo, dingo. Okay. As long as our, our ostriches are honestly the biggest ones I'm worried about because, ooh, claim rewards. Um, because they get, fight very easily if there are more, and they literally have babies so easily. Like, oh my goodness, look, look, see one is about to mature, so as soon as it matures, see a sucker, you gone. You are gone. Out of my zoo. Man, I feel like I make some of my habitats for my animals so flippin' big. Maybe we'll work on next time not making them as large as, as they are right now. Okay, we still need education for this, so, um... I've been kind of getting into, I don't, here's what I don't understand. Like, why is that sideways? Um, I've been putting like more of these up. I've kind of liked the look of having these little things here instead of just doing like an educational speaker. Sometimes I think it looks kind of nicer to do one of these instead, so. Look at them, look at them sliding. Wait a sec. Let me just. That's awesome. Look at that. There's a baby, I think. I think that's a baby. That's awesome. These little guys getting food eaten. Super, super cool. Honestly, I, I gotta go visit a zoo because this like game is making me want to do it. There is one zoo by my house and there's an aquarium as well, so. Kind of get both of, both of those as well. Both aquatic animals. And I think the aquarium actually has what's called like a penguin encounter. Um, I've always wanted to do it. But you basically can go pay to like meet a little penguin and feed them. And you get to go in their exhibit. It's kind of cool. Well, I assume it's cool. I honestly have no idea because I've never done it. But it sounds cool to me. Yeah, here we go. This is exactly where I wanted to be. Looks like Elsa built this down here. Put one on the side so it's not like right in the middle where you want to view. Um, but also like... Let's put snow down here. Let's get rid of this long grass. So you get the feel. Snow's probably gonna melt, but it's better than the long grass. I don't really love having the long grass. Sticking up out of the, um, it sticks up out of the path, which I think is stupid that it does that. See, we got our little video boards over there talking to us about our ostriches, and we're gonna set all these guys to be King Penguin.
Oh, that's a habitat board legs. I guess you have to click on the very front of it. You can't just click on the side. King penguin. I think I got all of them. I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look. Let's unpause. Let's, we gotta watch to make sure not, our ostriches are not gonna mature. Otherwise, we gotta get rid of them. I hate when he gives you they're about to mature. Just tell me exactly when they've matured so then I can release them. Because as soon as they mature, I want them gone. See, like, look, three. We just got three notifications in this, like, two seconds about ostriches maturing. Look at this little dude swimming. Look at him. Oh, he's just chilling. That's so fun. Oh, he's deep diving. No one has come down here. Okay, here we go. Release to the wild. Yep. Simba. See ya, Simba. It's honestly the easiest thing for me to do just to trade them out as soon as they mature. Oh, who, let's see. Who's this? You have matured as well. Look at that, like four four ostriches. Oh my goodness, let's pause real quick. In like two seconds, these guys have matured. But hey, I'm, I can't argue, we're getting a ton of conservation credits for this. All right, let's go back, check, make sure everything's all good with our little penguin habitat. Look at him. I love it. All right, guys, I think we're going to leave it at that. We just added our king penguins. We're getting our Arctic zone built. We will see you next time for next episode of Planet Zoo. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment below what's your favorite animal you have in the zoo right now and what else you'd like to see me add. All right, fam. See you next time.